Okay. We're gonna ask Glenn Chicky for the money. Raffle! Friend is rad! You guys want some cereal? Glenn, I don't mean to be rude, but uh -huh. how old are you? 19 and a half. Which is ironically how many billions I'm worth. We have half a million dollars and we've got a gadget that'll make holograms a regular part of people's lives. Yeah, with Andy Corvell as our main shareholder. You remember him, the guy that fired us to teach us a lesson? Not to mention his little spy grin. I said I was sorry, unlike you who stole my server. What am I worried about? I'm worried about raising a kid while starting a company. I'm worried about moving to a whole new city. I'm worried about Lisa and I'm wanting to go. Jim. Jack. Oh. C3D, right. You're Jack Sather, the CEO. I'm, I'm sorry, what was that? When's the official launch of the product? He has no idea. Three months. Oh God, no. It's one of those nights in San Francisco. The fog's so thick you think you're walking in a dream and the wind that brought it all in makes you wish you were born with fur. Then again, no dog would be out in this weather. Not unless the dog's got a job to do. And that's me. I'm the dog with the job. More precisely, I'm the dog that's all too good at her job. Once you get me on a scent, you're going to find out what's been stinking, or your money back guaranteed. Why are we talking about this? It's a pretty stupid thing to talk about. Yeah, it's stupid, not your stupid, which is what it sounds like you think I'm saying right now. People are so wrapped up in their routines, the oh-so-real and the oh-so-unimportant details that somehow all conspire together to make their lives one long, miserable chore. Then make them a diaper out of my shirt. I don't care. I'll buy a new shirt. A better shirt. There's a sale for shirts tomorrow. I'll go crazy. I'll buy two. They get so wrapped up in it all, they don't notice what's right in front of them half the time. Are we really arguing about a pack of diapers, Lisa? Is this about the girl? Because I told you she's just a detective. Perspective is a funny thing, isn't it? If you could just step out of your own head for a moment, Step out into that no man's land above it all and see things as they really are. Hey, you down there! Smiley? Well, that's where I live. And that's why nobody gets their money back. Not tonight, and not ever. I got a name! What? I have a name! Paley Bar! One hour! Seriously? You can't just come down here and tell me? Smiley? Hello? Oh, my life has gotten so stupid. It's all gone. Jesus, Brent, come on. You okay? If he'd said nine months. If we'd worked really hard and he'd said nine months, I'm gonna kill Jack. Are the prototypes? Gone. I'm sorry to drag you out here in the middle of the night. Is Lisa gonna be upset? She'll be fine. You don't call Jack? Why would I? There's nothing left to destroy. No, I called one of our investors. Guys? You called Glenn. Ira Meister. Oh, God. Big party last night, huh? Too soon? Bryn? 
Reminder, update my Wikipedia bio. I know 10% of a pile of computer parts and a lot of broken laptops. What? I am a you human master. For now, your note has been recorded. Ah, I had her custom made to keep me humble. She's awesome, isn't she? So, anyone call the police? No, not yet. Good, no police. Juggle laptops. Don't juggle laptops. Uh, I should really learn to juggle. Yeah. Great, no police, no report, no insurance money. That yeah, should be good. True that. Also, no revolutionary technology startup loses revolutionary technology headlines. Investors have a thing against companies that can't keep their products safe. Oh. Pomegranate, you want badly designed fruit, my friend. Gross. Okay, well, what do you want us to do? You've got money to run the company for nine months, right? Yeah, so? So, thanks to Jack, You've got three months to spend it. Which, by the way, I don't want you to go back to the press and try and change it to nine months. You get a product like this out in three months time, you'll have investors lining up outside of your door. And then BAM! Money problem solved, like whiff biffa! Like zip boof! Like which, I'm into sounds recently. It's a thing. Yeah, okay, Glenn, we don't have a prototype and we don't have the data. Actually, that's not true. Ever since Derek's server stunt last year, I started backing everything up off site. Oh. Well, that's good, right? I mean, if we use the money, we hired a couple extra engineers, worked around the clock. I mean, it's a small, small chance. I'm not optimistic. Yeah, you're never optimistic, Glenn. Okay, kids, I gotta go. Here, call Smiley. She can help with the revenge. The what? Oh, sorry. Investigation. Laptop. <laughs> okay, bye. The first thing any detective will tell you about detecting is don't get too close to your clients. You get emotionally involved with the case, you lose your objectivity, your outsider's perspective. Look, all I know is that she has a name and she wants us to go meet her. Why are you not wearing any pants? Because I was working very hard, Aaron. Why couldn't you just call me with this? I could. I did. You didn't pick up. I figured you couldn't find the key to the handcuffs. Which is exactly why I've just had sex on top of Jack's irritatingly expensive desk. You just can't let that go, can you? Well, these things take time. You going? This is about as emotionally uninvolved as you can get. Of course I'm going. Hey, have you been home at all this week, by the way? Lisa's been emailing me death threats. I know, she's just stressed because the baby won't stop crying. Could you just not be late, please? Okay, you know I'm not your baby, right? Oh, yeah. If only that were true. See you at the thing. <sighs> His wife's gonna leave him and he won't even notice. Well, somebody's got to work, right? What's that supposed to mean? Well, just that it's 45 minutes until our rendezvous and you're still half naked. I'm going to surprise you tonight. What, again? This is already the best meeting invitation I've ever gotten. Uh, Got time for round two? Oh, I, I think I got all I needed out of round one. Yeah, I separate cars. Can't be seen canoodling with the clients. What time is she supposed to be here? Seven. It's 7.30. Why are we doing this again? Because it's hard to argue business decisions with a self-made billionaire. I still don't know how we're affording this. I mean, it's not like we have any money. I'm barely being paid. Yeah, well, you also barely do any work, so. <laughs> it's not like our office is exactly attractive to job applicants right now. You know, this would be a lot easier if we just had the insurance money back. Jesus! God. I think that's where I can help. How long have you been under there? <sighs> Trade secret. Always get a measure of prospective clients before they become actual clients. How do we measure? <sighs> yeah, I need the money. Name Smiley, trade name, not a real name. Don't use real names in my trade. What's your real name? Valerie Ann. Right, well played. Like I said, I can help make things easy. You don't have to pay me unless I tell you who did it. Who did what? Who broke into our office? I don't see how finding out which local gang broke our stuff is gonna help us with anything. Look, this is how it works in Silicon Valley. A tech startup gets trash, chances are it's not a random crime. So you think this was planned? By whom? I haven't been hired yet. Have I? Well, what happens then? What happens when? Well, let's say we hire you and you find out who did it. We still can't call the cops, so what happens then? <laughs> There'll be covert operations. And counter covert operations, and then counter counter covert operations, and then there's all kinds of sub covert. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm really good at covert operations. I got that. Yeah. Um, look, I don't think we're in the war business, Valerie, so. Smiley. Around the clients? Okay, I don't want to waste your time, so- Sit! Give me two weeks, and I'll have a name. 
You don't have to pay me unless the information's good. Come on. Aren't I pretty? You know what's right for your small business. I pick the right tools to click with my clients. When it's game time, I have the right answer, no matter the playing field. Your small business is unique. So is our coverage. Hiscox. Get the right insurance right now. Everything happens for a reason. I have to believe that, or I become obsolete. Everyone here? Everyone thirsty? You actually work here, don't you? No. Okay, great. Let's start from the top. Can anyone tell me who your competitors are? People don't always see the reason behind what happens. We don't have any competitors. No? Are you sure? The fact that there is a script behind their own personal play. We did our research. As far as we know, C3D is years ahead of anyone else. Who do you have in mind? But you turn the actors into an audience, and suddenly everything becomes much clearer. Who is responsible? Who destroyed our office? Who is to blame? These are not the right questions. Who is easy? Once you've answered, how? They kicked the door open or picked the lock, whatever thieves do. Except the door wasn't kicked in when you got there, was it? And the lock wasn't damaged. No, I guess not. For someone to have gotten in, they must have had a key. Hi. Hi. Someone's paranoid since the break-in. Is anybody here with you? Jack went to get pizza in the neighborhood. It's weird at night. Why are you here? That's one way to greet your loving wife and child. Oh, I mean, it's late. Did you take a bus, or...? What difference does it make? You haven't seen your son in three days. I thought I'd make that happen for you. I, I just... I meant... You didn't... Yeah. You didn't have to come all the way here. I did, actually. I was kind of hoping to catch you having an affair. All right. Well, I'm all done here. I know what you're gonna say. And before you say it... Wow, Jack, San Francisco sure has changed you. Could you just not? This is Smiley, the detective we hired. She just dropped by to look at the security system. Is she a stripper? Are you into strippers now? No, she's not a... No, she's not a stripper. Why would you ask that? Because her name is Smiley, and I would assume my husband would tell me if he's been hiring detectives. It's a trade name. Detective trade, not stripper trade. Not that she has a stripper trade or that there is even a stripper trade. It's just You're really a... doing a bang up job with this. Okay, okay, look, it's been a 12 hour work day. Could we just. Oh, so you're seeing a prostitute and I'm supposed to back off because you're tired. I thought you said she was a stripper. So she is a stripper. Still just a detective. See? Detective, not a prostitute or a stripper. Not that it can't be, because I won't be. What? I have tremendous athletic abilities, <laughs> like Cirque du Soleil. Hang on. Hey guys. Why don't you just use your key? I would if I had one, sure. I walked into something awkward, didn't I? No, not awkward at all. I was just leaving you and Aaron with your prostitute. Bye, guys. She's tired. Yeah, I'm sure that's the problem. I'm Jack, by the way. Smiley. Smiley, right. Prostitute, right. She's the detective, you jackass. I'm gonna go get my wife. Don't sleep with her. What? What happened to your key, Jack? I lost it. That's what I thought too at first. Jack loses a key. Somebody finds it and uses it to get in. Pretty straightforward, but awfully boring. Except, of course, that a key isn't the only thing needed to get in, is it? Use the code for the security system. That's right, where the alarm goes off. Which, of course, it did, except um, this is from your security company, which is shockingly not interested in actual investigation work. The system went off at 7.03. The alarm didn't go off till 7.45, precisely 42 minutes later. Nobody was here at 7 o'clock. We were all at the What's Trending. What's Trending, yes, where Jack gave an amazing interview while attached to a pretty large piece of wood. And that is when I knew I had to do some me work. Get it? Because I'm a detective. We're on board. Okay. Well, then I had to sleep with Jack, you know, to put the rest together. Really? Seriously? Come on, Jack. You know you could have just asked me for my wallet, right? Sure. But where's the fun in that? The rest was elementary. Someone breaks into your office. They've got a key and the passcode. At the same night, Jack is 
being interviewed while cuffed to a piece of wood. Now, he wasn't arrested. We would have heard that, which obviously means Jack was having kinky sex with somebody. Obviously. So then came the reconnaissance. Jack didn't have a key. Check. Jack's wallet contained a piece of information that has... Everyone now! Wow, the passcode for the security system, right? Exactly. Then I had to ask myself, who would do this? Who would want to go through all the trouble? Obviously, it had to be a competitor. A competitor who was missing a very large piece of her sofa. Broke into her house? No. Maybe. Yes. Anyway, it was only to confirm what I already suspected. Which is what, exactly? Ladies and gentlemen, may I present our enemy. June Pepper? Wait, you know her? We went to MIT together. I dropped out. Last I heard, she was top of the class. She's a genius. That's right. And lately, she's been working at a top secret startup. So I did some digging, I made some calls, you know, broke some windows. And like I said, I've got a name. They're called Li-Fi. Anybody want to take a guess at what they do? 3D video conferencing. Exactly. Congratulations, boys and girls. You have got yourself an enemy. It's fun, right? So who wants to pay me? Vox Veritas Vita. Speak the truth as a way of life. I guess if I were to have a motto, that'd be it. I've been kind of an awful husband, haven't I? Yeah. You could disagree just a little bit, you know? Then why didn't I tell them? Why didn't I tell them how far this rabbit hole goes? It's not me. I can handle you being busy for a while. David, he has a new first every day. Did you know he laughed for the first time yesterday? He did, really? Yeah. Did he have your weird cackly witch laugh? No, it was your snort, like a baby pig. I just, I don't want you to miss those things. I know. It's gonna get better. I suppose I've started to like these people. I suppose that, despite myself, I've gotten emotionally involved. You're still busy at work. You still have a deadline. I'll make it work, I promise. Yeah. I know you'll try. Still, now they know where to start. I've given them the string and they can follow it right back to the source. As for me, this dog knows when to keep her nose out of the flame. And this particular flame's about to get awfully hot. Our account was hacked, right? That's what the bank is saying, our account was hacked? They emptied it completely. Everything Glenn and Andy gave us is gone. How did anybody write this? Your hot new startup of hot new product. Welcome to the gossipy world of tech. You're gonna quit at the first sign of trouble, really? Well, I guess I shouldn't be surprised. So let me get this straight. We not only stole your servers and prototypes, but also trashed your office and hacked into your bank account. That's about the extent of it, yeah. If we don't do something about this, everyone's gonna think we're fair game. We need to hit them back. I'm sorry, we need to do what? Just a man, but hope alone won't make the better time. Just a man.